In this lesson of creating checklister, let's get things done. So we will work on the done task. In the original description, it's this radio button. So we'll transform this simple task list for the user into something really actionable. And to do that, I already feel looking at the original description that we need a lot of dynamic stuff. So on clicking off radio button, something should change. Also, those numbers should change. Those numbers should change. Also, this show and hide, this star, this sidebar. So I feel we need some kind of JavaScript, a lot of JavaScript or Laravel Livewire. And I'm a big fan of Laravel Livewire, I have a few courses around it, and I will use Laravel Livewire for all the checklist show page. So we will transform current show blade that we have into a live wire component. For now, it will be one live wire component for the whole page. Maybe we will divide it later in the future, step by step. So let's transform that table into live wire component. And also we will replace that jQuery of toggling into live wire again. We already have live wire installed from one of those previous lessons of reordering the task list from the admin area. And we do have our live wire in app blade in the layouts app. At the bottom, we have live wire scripts. And at the top, we have live wire styles. So we're ready to create any live wire component. PHP artisan, make live wire, for example, checklist show, checklist show component, create it, great. And now let's replace checklist show blade. Let's add what from our show blade, what do we need to add here? Actually, let's make the whole row a component because the component liveware component needs to have one parent div or parent something. And I feel that we will have row with two columns. So for now it's called MD 12, but looking at the original description mockup, there should be this part and then the right hand side sidebar. So we'll probably add that to the same component and the main component div will be row, but then inside there will be columns. So we need to pass checklist into the component. So in the show blade, instead of doing all that table, we do live wire checklist show with a parameter of checklist equals checklist and in the checklist show component let's accept it in the live wire so we'll have public checklist like this and i think it may be working just like that let's refresh the page and see if it does work yeah it does work it shows the live wire component with the data and let's transform that condition of class d none into an if statement blade if statement if for example, in array current task of array of opened tasks. We don't have that yet, but we will create that in the component. So if and if opened tasks will be a property of checklist show. So public here and it will contain the IDs and public function mount this opened tasks equals empty array or actually maybe it will work just like this so we don't need mount and now on the click of this one on this td instead of doing class and data id and stuff like that we do wire click toggle task with task id or this task id should be in this from what i remember and we remove the class, we remove the data, remove all of that. Toggle task should be a method inside of Livewire component. So public function toggle task task ID here. And let's this open task, let's add that to open tasks for now without any validation. And let's see if it works. Let's refresh. We refresh, we click, and it doesn't work. Why? Let's take a look at the code again. Of course, we've left class D none anyway. So of course it is hidden and we don't even need the task description ID here. Let's refresh again and we click and it works great. So we remove jQuery almost a few things left to do. So we need to add toggle back. So we need to change if in array of task ID, this opened tasks then we remove it. Otherwise, we add it. So this open tasks, remove from the array, 
And at this point, I suddenly realize that I don't remember PHP function to remove array element by its value. And here I spared you a few minutes of Googling and I landed on Stack Overflow forum with a few potential solutions and apparently there is no such function maybe if you know that function shoot them in the comment but i landed on this probably the most elegant solution so this open tasks we will try it out equals array diff of this open tasks and then array of task id let's see if it was removed refresh refresh the page click, click back, click, click back, works. So it's an interesting point. I decided to not cut that out. So for you to see that I'm also a human and I Google a lot and I forget stuff and I learn stuff every day. So let's continue with this arrow. This is not solved yet. In our checklist show blade, we have two icons and we have if here. So ID with if, but instead of that, let's do the same thing. So if in array we show that or another if else and if let's reformat that a bit we don't need the ids anymore here id and here id and i guess that's it let's remove jquery at all from show blade so we don't need section scripts here at all and let's refresh the page and see how our icons perform and they disappeared did we add denon here somewhere Oh, there is a denon here, actually. Refresh, oh yeah, we're good. So we click here, the icon changed. We click back, the icon changes back. And actually the icon should launch the same wire click, I think. So TD on the same wire click. So we can click here and click back. Click here, click here. So we can have several tasks opened as well, which is also convenient. Great, so we're getting deeper into Livewire. Now let's get back to our original idea of radio button here on the left. So we should have that radio button inside of here, TD. Input type radio. For now, let's just see how it looks. Refresh, we have radio button, great. So we can click it, right? Now, what should it do? It should be probably wire modeled to some kind of property or something, or it could also react to wire click or something. But before we take care of the front end, let's try to imagine how it would look on the back end. So what would actually happen after we finish the task? And similarly, how we copied the checklist from admin checklist to user's checklist, I guess we need to do the same thing with tasks. So when the user opened the checklist, the tasks are still global from admin tasks. But whenever that task is performed, whether it's done or added to my plan or to calendar, whatever is the feature added to my day, remind me, then that tasks become users tasks. So they are copied within the same table in the database. At least for now, it is my vision. There is a task but without user ID. So let's add user ID here and parent ID. Similarly, how we have checklists. We have user ID and checklist ID as a parent, and those nulls are global from admin, and those are replicas, copies of users checklists. So let's do the same with tasks. And on click of that button, we will add the task, copy the task from admin to the user with condition of completed add. And there will be more conditions on those tasks of users like completed add, due date, reminder or something. So we will reuse the same table with a few additional fields, which will be nullable for admin tasks, but which will have value for users tasks. So let's do PHP artisan, make migration, add users fields to tasks table, something like that. And we can actually even copy that from other migration. If we open database migration for add user ID to checklist table, it's the same thing. So, so tasks add user ID, great. And then add task ID, also nullable, whether it's parent ID or not. So we add those, then in the task model, we need to add those as fillable. So fillable user ID, and task ID, okay. And now if we go to that radio button, let's do for now, just simple wire click of complete task with task ID. And that complete task 
will be a method in the checklist show public function complete task of task ID. And what we need to do here first, let's find the task. So task find task ID. If we find it just in case we check that if we find that task by admin task, then we need to replicate that task into a user task. So user task equals task, there is a function called replicate in eloquence. So it copies the whole thing, then we need to add user task completed add equals now, and then user task save. That's I'm typing from my memory, we will try it now. We refresh the page, we click any errors, unknown colon completed at of course, I forgot it. So completed at should be here as well. So completed at and we didn't even run the migration. So good table timestamp completed at nullable, then also fillable task completed at the field list is getting longer. So we will transform it into rows. Something like this. Okay, now let's run the migrations PHP artisan migrate. And now refresh the page and try to click again. No errors this time. Let's see the database. We refresh and we have our task with checklist ID with the same thing but with user ID and task ID not filled. Of course, I forgot that thing. So let's delete that row. And we also fill the other two things, user task, user ID equals auth ID. And then user task, task ID, the parent is task ID. Something like this, let's refresh now, and click and the database refresh. And we have those user ID and task ID as parent 17 is the ID of the parent task. So admin task, and this will be the ID 27 of users task, which has already completed at finally, let's check if that task is already completed. So if I click that again, and we have two problems. Now, first, we show both tasks, admin tasks and users task. So we need to filter that out. And probably we have another database row replicated. Yeah, exactly as I was expecting. And if we refresh that page, we should have probably another one. So first, let's filter out all the tasks by admin. Here, let's show all the admin tasks for now. Maybe in the future, I will change my opinion. But let's show checklist show here checklist tasks where user ID is null from what I remember the syntax or empty. I'm not sure how it is in collections. Will it throw an error? No, good. Where user ID is null, so it shows only parent tasks. And now we need to show if that radio button is checked already. So the task is completed already. And then we need to prevent that from completing again. Let's actually prevent that first. So in here, let's do it like this user task equals task find by task ID equals task ID. So first we find the original task and then we try to find the user task. And if we have that, then we update it else than this. If we have user task, then if user task completed at is no, if is no, then we do complete it. If it's already completed, we don't need to do anything. So we do user task update completed at now, like this. Otherwise, we don't do anything else. If we don't find the user task only then we create a new one. So let's now try to refresh click here. Unknown column 17. What did I do wrong task find? Oh, it's not find task where task ID first. It's not find. We click that. And let's see what we have in the database, we should not have a new line. And this is correct. Or actually, let's try from the very beginning, we save nothing happened. So fresh checklist, we save. Now we have a new line here with completed at already set. And if we click that again, nothing should happen. 
But if, for example, we had completed add as null, let's make that null. And now we click that again, it should be set to now. Correct. So we're preventing the duplication. Now, finally, let's set the input radio button as checked if it's already completed. For that, we will create another array of completed tasks, completed tasks, which is empty by default, empty array. And let's create a method mount where one time in the life cycle of that component. For now, we will set this completed tasks to task where checklist ID equals checklist ID or this actually checklist ID also where user ID equals auth ID also where not null completed at completed at plug ID we need just the IDs of those tasks or actually task ID of those tasks and then to array like this and then we can do if in completed tasks so here add if blade statement in array task ID of completed tasks and if we do checked check from what I remember I used to write this way maybe it's just checked without value but either way it should work refresh now and this is checked without our clicking and if we click task number two it would work and you refresh the whole page task two stays as clicked so great we have completed our video of completing the tasks